These dinner rolls are super soft, fluffy, and delicious. They are the perfect recipe for this Thanksgiving day. Enjoy! Pour in the bowl of a stand mixer 225 grams or one cup of milk, 50 grams or one large egg. Add 30 grams or three eighths of a cup of sugar. Add 125 grams or one cup of sourdough starter at 50% hydration. To make this 50% hydration sourdough starter, combine in a bowl 25 grams or one and three quarter tablespoons of water. Add 25 grams or one tablespoon of sourdough starter and 50 grams or a third of a cup of flour. Mix all the ingredients with a silicone spatula until all the ingredients come together. Then, take the dough out of the bowl and place it on your working table. Knead the dough for a minute or two until the dough has a nice, soft consistency. Place the dough back in the bowl and cover it with a lid. I am making double the quantity here for another recipe, so I am proofing this sour starter in two separate bowls for about four to eight hours or until the sourdough doubles in size. Use the hook attachment to mix all the ingredients. Then add 450 grams or three and five eighths of a cup of bread flour. Knead for a couple minutes until all the ingredients make a cohesive dough. Add little by little 55 grams or a quarter cup of butter at room temperature cut in pieces. When your dough has absorbed the butter, add the next piece of butter until you have added all the butter. Add eight grams or one and a half teaspoons of sea salt as you keep kneading the dough. Knead the dough in a stand mixer for about 20 minutes or until the dough is soft and elastic as this one. Get the dough out of the bowl and finish stretching it and folding it on itself. Make a bowl with the dough and place it in a grease container. Cover the container with a plastic lid or a plastic wrap and let it proof in the fridge overnight. I usually prepare this dough a day before, so that's why I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna proof it overnight in the fridge. On Thanksgiving day, Get the dough out of the fridge at least four and a half hours before you plan on eating the dinner rolls. Make a bowl with the dough and divide the dough in nine equal pieces. Use a foot scale if you have it at hand to make equal size dinner rolls. Make balls with the dough, making sure to add tension to the dough as you roll the dough on your working table. Arrange the balls of dough and space them equally in an 8 by 8 inch or 20 by 20 centimeter baking pan. Cover the baking pan with a plastic lid or plastic wrap and let the dough proof in a warm place for at least 4 hours or until the dough has almost doubled in size. Place the baking pan in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes or until they are golden brown. As soon as you take the dinner rolls out of the oven, brush them with melted butter and sprinkle some coarse sea salt on top of them. Remove the dinner rolls from the pan and place them on a cooling rack. And now you're ready to enjoy them. Look at how soft, fluffy, and puffy they look. They are super delicious and very easy to make. My best advice is to enjoy them warm like this roll that I am opening here and adding some butter and some great honey that I was given in Romania. It is delicious. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Please like and share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I hope you can make and enjoy this recipe. And have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy!